Please subscribe for future updates if you haven't already done so. In today's COP update, Wrexham owners Ryan Reynolds and Rob McElhenney are a step closer to buying the Stoke Racecourse lease for the club. Wrexham Supporters Trust, WST, directors are to recommend to members they accept a deal that would mean the club taking over the lease from them. The agreement would also guarantee Wrexham continue to play at the ground until at least 30 June 2115. In a statement Wrexham said, the negotiations between the club and those representing the WST have been undertaken against the backdrop of wanting to ensure that everyone's interests were protected. We believe that we have achieved this objective. The club will pay the trust £187,000 for the lease, plus £1,000 a year, increasing by 3% per annum, while also paying the trust legal fees for the deal. The most significant non-financial commitment made by the club was the positive commitment that the men's first team will continue to play at the racecourse ground until at least June 30, 2115, said the statement. Co-chairman McElhenney and Reynolds said, We were delighted to receive the support of the directors of the WST and share their understandable desire to protect the long-term future of the club. In a statement Wrexham said, the negotiations between the club and those representing the WST have been undertaken against the backdrop of wanting to ensure that everyone's interests were protected. We believe that we have achieved this objective. The club will pay the trust £187,000 for the lease, plus £1,000 a year, increasing by 3% per annum, while also paying the trust legal fees for the deal. Our legacy at the club will not be defined while we are its custodians so we wanted to address the anomaly in the WST lease for the racecourse ground that did not include the requirement for the team to actually play at the stadium, only not allow it to be used for any other purpose. We didn't want anyone in the future to be able to exploit that position. We would appeal to the 824 members who have a vote, to do so in favour of the proposal and allow the club to continue on this wonderful journey we are all on. Trust members are expected to vote yes at a special general meeting on Monday the 4th of December.